Welcome to the Outer Worlds. This is part 14 in our walkthrough, and today we're going to push ahead with Radio Free Monarch. Hopefully we'll finish that part of our main quest today. So let's see what our next thing is to do. I think we got to go to the information broker. That's right. So we're going to have to leave the city. And get back up to Devil's Peak. Well, I think it's a ways away, so we're going to fast travel there. Devil's Peak Station, that's where we want to be. Yeah, we gotta work our way through here. I keep forgetting where this guy is. He's upstairs. I think. Yeah, here it is. I remember battling through here. Memories. Okay. Information broker. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. That is right. I do. Both MSI and the Iconoclast are no longer transmitting. You're going to give me the data finally? Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem, in the end? We did what we could, as best we could. Should probably leave it at that. Hmm, is that so? Yep, I helped both these guys get what they want. I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Okay. Well, tell me how to fix this thing then. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. That's it? Someone has trust issues, though I can't hardly feign surprise. Yes, that is all. No, I am not mocking you. Much. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. I'm starting to see why you don't get much company out here. All right. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Somehow I don't trust this guy, but we will give this a shot anyways. I don't have any lockpicks. Uh, here's the relay. No enemies around. Seems simple enough, but I can't believe it's going to be that simple. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. All right. Don't make me come back in there. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you don't wish to. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. 
take care out there. Captain! Big flaming thingy! Uh-oh. What the heck was that? Black holes. Did you see that? Yep. Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar! What are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI, or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? Oh, what's going on? Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Oh boy. Ah, I see you learn nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my bored damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. Alright. Well, looks like we need to go speak to Phineas. And I think... Has this created a side mission? Or is this a main one? Got to retrieve the gunship's targeting module, and I think both factions want it, so we're gonna have to make a decision here. Yeah, so these are faction quests. So we can take care of that a little bit later. But first things first, we gotta go back and speak to Phineas. First thing we need to do is get to our ship. Okay, time to get back on board. Go see Phineas. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Why do we do that? She has these odd things, or I mean, things from time to time. Engine room, engine room. I've never actually done any requests, but let's see. Don't move, you got a little bit of sick in your tread. Hey, Captain, I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Uh, yeah, hang on. I think we gotta... Oh, sure. Like what? Yeah, there's nothing really going on here. As far as asking her to go down there. Uh, but, let's see what the big thing is she wants to talk about. About what you said before? After we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker? I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and and ask Junle to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. That's fine. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days, and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, 
we could stop by Groundbreaker for gas supplies. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. Alright, side mission. We'll deal with that some other time. Let's get back on track here. Get over to Phineas's lab. Our fuel cells are now primed with Alta V. So when Ada's asking us to do things, I think for most of it's nothing serious. This is top secret orbital lab. I'll lock up behind you. Well, that was pretty big, actually. Hey, what do you want? You. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. All right. We'll do that. So, what's, uh, yeah. Was that about Minister Clark? Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. Okay, well, tell me what to do then. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Okay. So let's find Carmen, steal the chemicals. Good. Can we talk? Who are you? So we're just gonna march straight into Byzantium and acquire some rare chemicals right under the board's nose. I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Yeah, it's not about money actually in this case. Uh-huh, sure. Everybody's got an angle. I'm just wondering what yours is. Yeah, he rescued me, and I want to rescue all the other colonists. Looking at it, another is that he pulled you out of hibernation without your say so, and got you to do his dirty work. Yeah, true. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? Yeah, if it goes down, we all go down. Guess I hadn't looked at it that way. Still, Phineas isn't your only option. The board's put a bounty on his head, 
and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Yep. Exactly. You seem to have a good head on your shoulders, so I probably don't need to tell you this, but look out for yourself. No one else out here will. Thanks. Hey, don't get any ideas. I'm just making sure you last long enough to pay me at the end of this. Anything else? Nope, let's get going. We are headed to Byzantium for the first time. So we sh I did not expect you back so soon, Captain. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. That's true. And we're going to go to Byzantium now because of that. So... Where is Byzantium? That's not there. Oh, it's on Terra 2, I see. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Sounds good. That Harlow reminds me of my old dentist, and not in a good way. So, let's take Sam and Yoka. We are landed on Byzantium. So this is on Terra 2. That's our first time here. And we brought along Yoka, Sam. A workbench. down here uh, maybe up here I'm not sure Seriously long elevator. Okay, I guess oh, this is the main city here. Why can't something exciting happen around here for once? That's nice. Nothing wrong with stability. It means everything's running like clockwork. Don't you ever want a little fun? Maybe see a marauder ship get blown to bits overhead? What a f to say here here knows marauders can't fly hey you yeah you want to be famous who's talking to me you Kid, you got presence. Natural magnetism. Know what I mean? Eh, uh, yeah, you're a huckster. Tell you what, you're gonna like it a whole lot more once we start talking bits. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? Uh, I'm a freelancer. Fresh natural talent. I know it when I see it. 
Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. Yeah, just stop buttering me up. I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit, but we still need a star. And I think you got the chops. Hey, if you want an action story, you ought to haul a couple of cameras to Monarch sometime. We'll give you some damn good footage, if you survive. Unscripted chaos. Come on, who'll pay to see that? Audiences want heroes and villains just like the one standing in front of me. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? Yeah, side missions. Terrific. We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. Magic Rio's energizing ointment. Yeah, we'll do that later. Top's worth of concentrated caffeine in every dollar. Byzantium docks. Uh, so I think I'm way up here. I need to get back down. I have to take the elevator back down. Sorry for the detour. Okay, at the docks, the docks. I must have walked right by them. Ah, here. Here they are. I can use one of those. All right, lady. Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. It's me. Shh, no names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man, and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. All right. Give me the information. Or actually, who's the Phoenix? Yeah. That's my code name for... You know. Our mutual friend. <laughs> All right. What's your code name? Oh. I'm Golden Eagle. Okay. Do I have a code name? Um, yeah. I named you Cuckoo. All right. Yeah, give me the information. This cloak and dagger stuff is nonsense, but if everyone else gets a code name, I want one too. You can be cassowary. That's shockingly apt. Cassowaries were a solitary bunch. But once they had a friend, they'd stick with them till the end. Aggressive little creatures too. Anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Well, there's got to be a way to get in there then. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Can you get me in there? Whoa, I'm not one of your B and E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Okay, so some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. House of inebriation? Count me the hell in. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Okay, thanks for the tip. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Okay. Let's go then. Good luck, Cuckoo. <laughs> Don't we pronounce it Cuckoo? I've never heard anybody call it Cuckoo before. Alright, so where do we need to go now then? Oh. Sounds like we should go to a local bar first. Maybe see if we can talk somebody into giving us a key. Is 
Is there an elevator up? Is it upstairs? Yeah, this will be something else here. So yeah, it looks like our best bet is to go upstairs. Elevator ride back up. If I spit, think I can hit that mechanical down there? Try All right, we'll see if we can find this bar. Out there. So much wasted money here. Decadence ain't gonna save you when the beasts get through the walls. Unit recharging. All cleaning jobs have been completed. Ah, here we go. Here's the bar. Let's go talk to these guys. Hey, 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 stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you got to keep five feet back times yep yeah, uh, you supposed to be drinking on the job of course not <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now the others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all <laughs> all right He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Congrats. What a key you say. That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. Yeah. How about I buy you a drink? That's a great idea. I'll have a Spectrum vodka. Oh, maybe they got some at the bar. Yeah, let me get some Spectrum Vodka then. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple Spectrum Vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Okie dokie. I use a drink. Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant, located just over there. All right, I can buy it from the bot. All right, but isn't that you? Oh, you're right here. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. <laughs> okay, have a drink. Spectrum vodka. Here we go. That's it, right? Thank you. How many should we buy? All right, let's go back to this guy. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? Yep, I'm buying you a drink. Here's to me. 
Hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Yep. Let's see if we can get you to fall down. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Yep, we're gonna grab your key when you're passed out. Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Only two? You've got a ways to go. Have you always been here? I didn't see you a minute ago. Well, have another one, dude. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nah, yeah, worry about that tomorrow. You know, that's a very good point. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting <laughs> That's gross. Preparing bodily waste. Collection receptacle. <laughs> I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, let me follow this guy. <laughs> nice. We can take all his stuff, including the key. All right. Well, not too bad we didn't have to attack him. We might have been able to puck pick at him too. Mr. Clerk, where are you? You're over here. I've always loved this. Uh, we need to get up over here. Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. I'm here for Minister Clark. Well, that's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Was he expecting a delivery? Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, I'll go get it. So we got to pick a package here. Make things a little bit easier. On another level, I don't see it. allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Okay, good for you. Okay, so we're in the Outer Worlds version of UPS. And we need to 
find a package that we're picking up and it's inside here. We have to get in here and we don't have enough keys for that. So we're gonna have to figure this out. help you at the moment. Okay. Have a prosperous day. Burning the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. Okay. Yeah, do you have a package waiting for Clark? We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Great, I'm here to pick it up. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Sure, I don't mind. Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. Yeah, how long does that take? Couldn't say. We've got a backlog, and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years, but I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. Yeah, I don't have time for this. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. All right, well, I'll just make the delivery. You do that? Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Law speed. Okay, thanks. Level up. It's funny, I thought the parcel was here. I guess it was, and she went to get it. All right, let's go talk to Minister Clark. Okay, we have our package, let's go deliver it. Out with it, you wretched contraption. Does nothing. Units air purity sensors are indicating a lethal level of inebriation emanating from a nearby organic source. Please, do you think this is bad? You ought to get your sensors recalib... recal... You ain't seen me drunk. Litter collected. Reminder, please dispose of all empty bottles in the appropriate waste receptacle as outlined by Ordinance P-51 of the Board Certified Subboard of Health. I'll dispose of you in an appropriate waste receptacle. There's nothing to see here. Move along. I got the package, dude. Delivered for the minister. Yeah? Let's see it. Right here. Hmm. Huh. Looks like your papers are in order. All right. Go on through. Okay. Mr. Clark. Uh, chances are he's up the stairs here. Yep, there we go. In here. How did you get in here? Aha. Uh -huh. I had a key and I used a package. You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. 
Wash your mouth out with soap, dude. All right, I'm here for the dimethyl sulfoxide. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. Nah, you've been hoarding this stuff, dude. Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course! It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Hang on, what are you talking about? You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. All right, well, I'm gonna have to deal with him then. But you're a lunatic, dude. Would you sooner trust an avaricious, mendacious profiteer? Or his horde of toadies and fools, perhaps? I am trying to help you. And here, you're going to need all the help you can get. Now. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. If we're set on fixing Halcyon, that's as good a place as any to start. Exactly. And fix it, we must. If it's dirty, it's a job for Sam. It's filthy indeed, my mechanical friend. Rife with the worst sort of corruption. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. All right, HHC headquarters. Halcyon Holdings Corporation, the collective of companies that run the colony together. Allegedly in partnership with the Earth Directorate and appointed Minister of Earth. Okay, so I gotta get there. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Well, yeah, a few guards don't scare me. Actually, the tunnels sound good. Well, you won't have much human company down there. Plenty of sprats and auto mechanicals, though. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Okay, what used to be your office? Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. Okay. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. No well, mini side mission from you. We can uh, do that while we're there. Okay, you can count on me. Good. Halcyon is in dire need of someone like you. You're all mean to me before, but now you're uh, nice. Okay. So we need to head down. Try to find our way to the HAC headquarters. I'm going to go through the sewers. Sounds like we got to fight a lot of robots along the way. So we're going to head over to the HSC, HHC, I should say, headquarters. Find our way through the sewers. Oh, th oh, there. That's one right there. 
Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of him? And we'll handle that stuff tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you like The Outer Worlds, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And put in the comments down below, have you tried the game? Have you played it at all? Or do you think you're going to get it to play? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.